In preparing for battle I have always found that plans are useless. But planning is indispensable. A people that values its privileges above its principles soon loses both. Plans are nothing, planning is everything. If you want total security, go to prison. There you're fed, clothed, given medical care and so on. The only thing lacking is freedom. Motivation is the art of getting people to do what you want them to do because they want to do it. I hate war as only a soldier who has lived it can. Only as one who has seen its brutality, its futility, its stupidity. Neither a wise man nor a brave man lies down on the tracks of history to wait for the train of the future to run over him. If a problem cannot be solved, enlarge it. What counts is not necessarily the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. Pull the string, and it will follow wherever you wish. Push it, and it will go nowhere at all. There's no tragedy in life like the death of a child. Things never get back to the way they were. History does not long entrust the care of freedom to the weak or the timid. Some people wanted champagne and caviar when they should have had beer and hot dogs. We are going to have peace even if we have to fight for it. When you put on a uniform, there are certain inhibitions that you accept. Only strength can cooperate, weakness can only beg. Though force can protect an emergency, only justice, fairness, Consideration and cooperation can finally lead men to the dawn of eternal peace. Only our individual faith and in freedom can keep us free. From behind the Iron Curtain, there are signs that tyranny is in trouble and reminders that its structure is as brittle as its surface is hard. The world moves and ideas that were once good are not always good. Don't join the book burners. Do not think you are going to conceal thoughts by concealing evidence that they ever existed. You have a row of dominoes set up. You knock over the first one. And what will happen to the last one is that it will go over very quickly. No one should ever sit in this office over 70 years old, and that I know. In the final choice a soldier's pack is not so heavy as a prisoner's chains. We seek peace, knowing that peace is the climate of freedom. Our real problem, then, is not our strength today. It is rather the vital necessity of action today to ensure our strength tomorrow. We will bankrupt ourselves in the vain search for absolute security. Leadership is the art of getting someone else to do something you want done because he wants to do it. Peace and justice are two sides of the same coin. Farming looks mighty easy when your plow is a pencil and you're a thousand miles from the cornfield. This world of ours must avoid becoming a community of dreadful fear and hate, and be, instead, a proud confederation of mutual trust and respect. You don't lead by hitting people over the head. That's assault, not leadership. There is no glory in battle worth the blood it costs. An intellectual is a man who takes more words than necessary to tell more than he knows. 
things are more like they are now than they ever were before. The clearest way to show what the rule of law means to us in everyday life is to recall what has happened when there is no rule of law. Any man who wants to be president is either an egomaniac or crazy. I think that people want peace so much that one of these days government had better get out of their way and let them have it. Humility must always be the portion of any man who receives a claim earned in the blood of his followers and the sacrifices of his friends. I despise people who go to the gutter on either the right or the left and hurl rocks at those in the center. The history of free men is never really written by chance but by choice, their choice. There is no victory at bargain basement prices. May we never confuse honest dissent with disloyal subversion. The best morale exists when you never hear the word mentioned. When you hear a lot of talk about it, it's usually lousy. The problem in defense is how far you can go without destroying from within what you are trying to defend from without. An atheist is a man who watches a Notre Dame, Southern Methodist University game and doesn't care who wins. The most terrible job in warfare is to be a second lieutenant leading a platoon when you are on the battlefield. It is far more important to be able to hit the target than it is to haggle over who makes a weapon or who pulls a trigger. The free world must not prove itself worthy of its own past. Worry is a word that I don't allow myself to use. Politics is a profession, a serious, complicated and, in its true sense, a noble one. Whatever America hopes to bring to pass in the world must first come to pass in the heart of America. How far you can go without destroying from within what you are trying to defend from without. Few women, I fear, have had such reason as I have to think the long said years of youth were worth living for the sake of middle age. We must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. I have only one yardstick by which I test every major problem, and that yardstick is, is it good for America? I have found out in later years that we were very poor, but the glory of America is that we didn't know it then. The purpose is clear. It is safety with solvency. The country is entitled to both. This desk of mine is one at which a man may die, but from which he cannot resign. I have one yardstick by which I test every major problem, and that yardstick is, is it good for America? I deplore the need or the use of troops anywhere to get American citizens to obey the orders of constituted courts. I'm saving that rocker for the day when I feel as old as I really am. There is no person in this room whose basic rights are not involved in any successful defiance to the carrying out of court orders. Ankles are nearly always neat and good looking, but knees are nearly always not. There is nothing wrong with America that faith, love of freedom, intelligence, and energy of her citizens cannot cure. I thought it completely absurd to mention my name in the same breath as the presidency. 
The people of the world genuinely want peace. Someday the leaders of the world are going to have to give in and give it to them. Disarmament, with mutual honor and confidence, is a continuing imperative. There are a number of things wrong with Washington. One of them is that everyone is too far from home. The spirit of man is more important than mere physical strength, and the spiritual fiber of a nation than its wealth. Together we must learn how to compose differences, not with arms, but with intellect and decent purpose. When people speak to you about a preventive war, you tell them to go and fight it. After my experience, I have come to hate war. Our pleasures were simple, they included survival. Things have never been more like the way they are today in history. We are tired of aristocratic explanations in Harvard words. Well, when you come down to it, I don't see that a reporter could do much to a president, do you? Unlike presidential administrations, problems rarely have terminal gates. Don't think you are going to conceal thoughts by concealing evidence that they ever existed. 